What's up guys, welcome to Bluebot Tech. Today we're gonna to be going over one of the coolest and possibly the easiest ways to level up your smart home. And with that, today's video is gonna be covering NFCs. Now NFCs are a cheap and powerful way to trigger automations within your smart home. And costing just $8 for about 20 NFCs on Amazon right now, you can kind of go crazy with setting up all kinds of triggers for your smart home. And one of my favorite and possibly the easiest things to do with NFC tags is to set up an NFC tag for guests whenever they visit your house to connect to your Wi-Fi network directly. Now this is super easy and we're going to go over how to do that first and then we're going to get into some more cooler stuff after that. And now if you're a Home Assistant user, you can do all kinds of sorts of stuff with these NFC tags to trigger automations, node red flows, all kinds of stuff. And we're gonna cover that a little bit as well. So just to recap, this video is gonna cover how to set up NFC tags using an NFC tool app, as well as Home Assistant in node red. All right, so now the first thing that we need to do is go ahead and download and install the NFC tools app from your marketplace. Once that's done, go ahead and open that up. All right, next go to the right tab and click on record. And here you can see there are a ton of things that you can do with this app and NFC tags. Um, for this example, we're gonna go all the way down to the Wi-Fi, and we're gonna go ahead and set up our guest Wi-Fi connection. And as I mentioned before, this will allow anyone coming into your house to just scan the NFC tag and connect directly to your Wi-Fi. All right, so here choose your authentication type. Mine will be WPA2 personal. And then your encryption type, and mine will be using AES. Now finally, just enter in your Wi-Fi SSID and password. Click OK and then click right. Now you should see a pop-up that's asking you to scan a blank NFC tag. All right, so once it's scanned, it's all done and it's that easy. So if anyone comes into your house and scans the NFC tag, it will connect them directly to your Wi-Fi connection. All right, so the next thing I wanna go over is using the Home Assistant app to write an NFC tag. All right, so the first thing that you gotta do is go ahead and open up your Home Assistant app, go to configuration, and then down at the bottom you see tags. Go ahead and click add a tag, enter whatever tag name you want, you can leave the generate ID block blank and hit OK. All right, so once the tag is created, go ahead and click the scan icon. It should give you a little pop-up asking you to scan your blank NFC tag. Go ahead and do that. All right, so now it's scanned the tag and it should be good to go for Home Assistant. All right, so now that the tag is recognized in Home Assistant, we can use it to kick off all kinds of automations. And what I like to use is Node-RED for this. And I'm gonna go over one of my Node-RED triggers that I've got set up just to give you guys a little bit of a sampling of what's possible. All right, so the example I'm gonna be going over with you guys is I have a single NFC tag set up to both power on and power off most of the electronics in my office. All right, so here you see I have an events node that's listening for all events, and I have it going to a switch, and this switch is basically looking for the ID that I generated when I scanned my NFC tag. And then I have the switch routing to my filament light, and I have it set to the single light because it's pretty reliable and it usually works just first time around, I don't have to worry about it. And from this light, I have it routed based on the state of this filament light, whether it's on or off, will route to turn everything else on or everything else off. All right, so in total, I'm controlling the power for my office for this filament light, a wise bulb, a sonoff, which is controlling my lava lamp, a WLED light strip, and two Govi light strips, as well as my TV that's displaying my Magic Mirror 2 setup. All right, and just to give you guys a little bit more details on the nodes themselves, here's the inside of the events all node. Here's the inside of the switch node. Now you can see the ID that I use for my NFC tag. We can go back and look where it is just to show you guys where I grabbed it from and go ahead and enter that in here. Now here's the state configuration. Now the switch goes to my current state node, which is the Teva fill, which is basically detecting whether it's on and off. And if it's on, it will go ahead and route the on message to all my other devices. If it's off, it'll go ahead and route the off message to all my other devices.
And there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. Go ahead and leave a comment if there's any ideas of cool stuff that you guys are automating with your NFC tags, or if you have any questions, we're always here to help. If you're new to Home Assistant or Node-RED, we do have videos covering how to set those up, so you can check those out as well. And as always, remember to like and subscribe, and we greatly appreciate it. All right, thanks. Peace.